Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm Madashe, uh, pastor of the Ark, and I'm going to let everybody else introduce themselves. I am Pastor Mark Jean Baptist, assistant pastor. Pastor Bernardo, youth pastor. My name is Brianna, and I'm a member of the Ark. Awesome. I'm so happy to be able to have Brianna here um, and the rest of you. Last week, we ended our discussion talking about music and the different genres of music. Uh, Pastor Mark had brought up the idea that, you know, gave a definition of rap where we said, listen, we're going to have to go and research this, <laughs> you know, to be able to dig in a little bit to see if um, if rap or, you know, just music in general in the church, how that goes, uh, if all music is accepted, you know, how that works. So um, what did you guys find out about rap? You know, let's start there. Uh, what we find out about rap, uh, like I told you, is uh it, they have many different uh, definitions. Uh, first, uh, if you hit something, it's, it's rap. Yeah? You know, if you like uh, uh, for, for, for justice, um, criminal, like if you, they drop, uh, uh, like they, they put everything on you, you know, you wrap something on you. This is uh, it's all a the sentence is okay. rap. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that's W R A P. No, the same thing. Okay. R A P. Okay. You know, so yeah, like you drop the they wrap the book on you. Okay. You know, so it's rap. Uh, the medium co- communicate with the evil spirit. It's rap. Hmm. You know, and uh, singing like the uh, African American singing, it, it's it's rap. You know, so you talk about the the, 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 IAP, rap, the, the hip hop yeah, 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 rap. rhythm. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay. It's rap. So what because one thing you have to understand uh, the Bible doesn't really say what kind of music to play. Okay. Because music come to the Bible, the first time uh, you see you mention music in the Bible is like in three hundred BC. I mean three thousand BC. You know. And uh, the first uh, time you see it in, in the Bible is uh, the son of Lamech, Tubal Cain, the descendant of Cain. So he, he was the one who, who make uh, the instrument with uh, mm-hmm. root, uh, with cord and stuff like that. Yeah, no, way the, yeah, before Moses. Yeah, that way before Moses. Correct. So, so therefore, um, we didn't know what kind of music uh, you know they were playing. But uh, like uh, rock and roll is um, is like from in nineteen forty like uh, American uh, music still, but it's in the forties and you know, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, the rap is the black American doing that. So therefore, um, because they uh, they playing with with the you know and the wall. But changing the name, sometimes the lyric, the lyric is um, they play to the wall, and then they may change the word and put Jesus on it, but it's the same lyric. Okay. So you know, like that same some, rhythm. Yes, but it's the same, you know, same, same, same rhythm. lyrics, yeah, but same rhythm. Same, same okay. rhythm. So, so therefore, sometimes you playing, you know, to the to the wall, you know, and then. You just change the word and put God in it. That doesn't, it's not appropriate. Uh, for rap, the problem I have with it is because uh, it's the same, the same word used by the medium to communicate with the Hebrew spirit. And then you cannot use the same word to worship God. Same. So what's the uh, word? You know, eh? So what's the word that they're using? Rap. rap. It's just I rap. see. Rap. Okay, so yeah. gotcha. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of like what I what I talk to him on Sundays. Yeah. Is that you know the American language yeah. English has you can uh, uh, for one I, word it's probably I, like I, twenty I, definition. I, 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 you got like fifteen uh, definition uh, different for rap. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> okay. All right. So we got rap with the verb of, of wrapped yeah. and rapping mm-hmm. to str- to strike um, with a mm. quick, smart yeah. blow to mm. utter sharply uh, or vigorously mm. to rap orders. Mm. Okay. 
of a spirit mm-hmm. summoned by a medium to communicate <laughs> a message by raps, <laughs> often followed by out. So rap out. <laughs> Slang to criticize <laughs> severely. Mm-hmm. Slang to a- arrest, detain, or sentence for a crime. Uh, and then you have other definitions mm-hmm. to knock smartly mm-hmm. or vigorously mm-hmm. to rap on a door. Slang to talk or discuss, especially freely or volubly <laughs> chat, <laughs> to talk rhythmically to the beat of rap music, a quick smart blow, a rap on the knuckles, the sound produced by such a blow, slang, blame or punishment, slang, uh, criminal charge, a murder <laughs> rap. Uh, slang, a response or reception, slang, a talk or conversation, chat, rap music. Okay. No, I I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I understand these definitions yeah, yeah. And, and, and I completely understand. Mm-hmm. One of these definitions talk, you know, is going into the fact that this is geared towards some type of incantation. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's yeah. some type of pulling, some type mm-hmm. of evil spirit, evil spirit down, yeah. um, which may be right. Mm-hmm. And the, the, the thing that I know is human beings come up with definitions. Mm-hmm. Correct. I have never seen, mm-hmm. being personally, I have never seen any type of uh, rapper mm-hmm. pulling time, doing any type of ceremony. Mm-hmm. I've never seen that. Mm-hmm. Uh, however, I have seen heavy metal do it, though. Mm-hmm. I have seen them call out Satan, mm-hmm. devils. Devil. Um, it wasn't until Tupac and, mm-hmm. and the, I'm, so, I'm sorry, not Tupac, but uh, the other one guy that died. Biggie. Biggie. Biggie yeah. It wasn't until Biggie uh, came out with a t-shirt saying 666. Mm-hmm. And then Jay-Z later on mm-hmm. uh, went into the whole Aleister uh, mm-hmm. uh, Crosby situation mm-hmm. saying, do, uh, do what thou wilt. Do what thou wilt. Mm-hmm. You know, that the... the that I saw the connection between demonic, mm-hmm. uh, you know, uh, the, the the demonic side of things and rap, mm-hmm. but I've seen it in heavy metal because mm-hmm. it's out in the open and you know and, and just in front of us. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm like, I I, I don't know, yeah. I don't know very many artists yeah. that you know in the rap in mm-hmm. the rap especially especially in the '90s when I grew up, mm-hmm. you know, that were like that. Um, now gangster, yes, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> violence, yes, yes. Um, you know. Uh, not bash women, but exploit women. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Drugs. Yeah. Um, yes. Drugs. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, all of that I see, mm-hmm. um, you know, in, you know, in rap music, mm-hmm. but the spiritual, I haven't no. seen that. No. I haven't that's seen not that. what I'm saying is, yeah. you know, the, I never seen it either. Yeah. You know, you know, but this is the, the meaning, you know, the, uh, that's the word, yeah. you know, that's, that's the, that's the only issue, but rap, but they, they curse. Of course. Yo, man, they talk bad about the woman. Of course. You know, man. You know. But um, like I said, uh, the Bible, you, you you won't see any scripture saying what kind of music to play. Yeah. You know, we make that decision. Correct, mm-hmm. correct. That's true. Correct. Mm-hmm. See, yeah. see yeah. the thing... <laughs> The thing about rap is yeah. um, when it first started, it was about the struggles that the, uh, these black men were going through mm-hmm. and you know, the oppression and you know, the struggle they were, they were going through at that time. Mm-hmm. But you know, as it progresses, you notice that they were going towards the occult. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like you know, back, back 10, 20 years ago, you, d- you discover that there is, there's a group out there that they, they do occultism. And you know, they, um, they basically like, you know, do incantations under songs. Mm-hmm. Or if we, even within their lyrics, yeah. there's incantations. But mm-hmm. it's like, but recently it's like you know, people are a little more open about these mm-hmm. things. Yeah. It's kind of like you know, back then you didn't hear about like you know witches, but now you hear it in the media, you hear it everywhere, and it's yes. and it's accepted. Yeah. And it's the same thing as you know, rap, because like you know, there's nothing wrong about about you know talking about no, struggles. No, mm-hmm. no, no, that, that is nothing. And that's what's like well, that's, that's what, how we got. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, the uh, spirituals, the yeah. you know, with slavery after yep, slavery, Negro yeah. the Negro yep. spirituals. That's mm-hmm. how you got that. Mm-hmm. Was through the struggles mm-hmm. that yeah. you know our ancestors went through. That mm-hmm. is true. So, yeah. yeah. And at at the mm-hmm. same time, it's like you know, as Christians, like you know, the the the, the only issue that I might have is like you know, listen to certain you know, uh, secular uh, would be the proper term. Secular music is that there's some secular music they're not catering mm-hmm. towards godliness. Mm-hmm. They're getting more to the flesh right. rather than the, than the spirit. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it's like these songs, 
they're um, motivating you to to take action, whether if it's good or bad. And that's that's where you know, um, if you notice throughout history, especially with uh, hip hop, now you have you know young men they want to be gangsters because mm-hmm. they saw it on TV. They saw these big rappers, mm-hmm. these prevalent rappers talking about oh about the you know mm-hmm. the gangster life, mm-hmm. shooting, taking drugs, and mm-hmm. you know and having a lot of girls. Mm-hmm. But in reality, it wasn't like that. Mm-hmm. They gave him a false perspective, perspective of life, mm-hmm. and these young men are trapped in that. It's more yeah, of yeah. it's more of the you know, issues that they were going through. But yet, you have these people who actually literally took these things in their lives, mm-hmm. and now they're stuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one thing I can say, like um, like I said, the Bible doesn't say what yeah. kind of music to play. We made that the decision. Correct. Correct. But like. Paul says, we, certain things we don't do, it is not because it is not right. Yeah. But for the weak people, yeah. Yeah. Some, some of us are weak. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Imagine, uh, just like Paul said, okay, the food, the devil didn't create and make it, made, didn't make any food or create anything. Yeah. If food is, God made food. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But if... Uh, you pray on the food, you, know, you eat. Yeah. But for some people, if you see um, a food uh, dedicated to the idol, uh, to idol mm-hmm. and then you come in and eat it, so now that brother see you eating it, <laughs> I think he's as going to, he's going to stumble. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's going to. Stumble. Yeah. It's kind of the same thing with you know alcohol. <laughs> you know, if you if you know someone that's struggling with you know uh, mm-hmm. drinking alcohol a lot. They're basically drunks, mm-hmm. and you, as a believer, mm-hmm. you know they're struggling with it. You don't bring it in their no, presence. No. It's the same thing, you know. If the food was offered to mm-hmm. an idol, you don't bring it in, a, but, in their presence. The presence. It's for the yeah. sake of so, that person that's there in exactly. front of you. And if you do it, you you you're hindering that person from you know moving from forward, falling, yeah. for, mm-hmm. from getting freedom, mm-hmm. liberation from that struggle mm-hmm. they're going through. Mm-hmm. So if I'm hearing correctly, you know. Um, if someone came from the world and they were, let's say, a secular artist, mm-hmm. um, and their music of choice was uh, rap or R and B or whatever it is, mm-hmm. um, what I'm hearing is, listen, let's not put the gospel wrapped in those styles for them. Let's give them something different. That way, they get it out of the system. We're not connecting what their secular. What, what what they're used to in the secular world to be able to bring in the gospel. True. Um, I understand that, but is it reality? Mm, no. It is. Well, it's it's but not really say, reality because right now it's like um you know with you know these prevalent Christian rappers it's like but you could jump in anytime. Yeah, because okay. I'm, I'm I'm perplexed because if we don't okay so if we bring in a Christian rapper to perform at one of our concerts Mm -hmm. but we don't know who is you don't know where your um, audience is so you can't really filter out who is coming in if they're doing christian rap based on who has an no an issue from the world but if somebody decides to turn from um, worldly rap to christian rap and they turn their life over to god why not use their their talent to glorify God. Yeah. It's bad if they do, but it's also bad if they don't. Like it's where, what do they do? Because, because again, we already said that the any the devil didn't create anything. What happened was the enemy allowed people to perverse what was created. Yeah. So if we take back what was originally designed by God to glorify Him, where what was the issue? Because yeah. what we're telling people is, yeah, you were a Christian rapper in the world, even though you have this talent, and there were talented people, but they used it to serve the world. But now they come in to serve Christ with it, it's still wrong? No, not at all. It, 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 no, what I'm saying is that to... Um stop them from being mm. you know from using it what i you know what i'm saying is there should be a timeout to where it's like learn the gospel okay learn who god is okay because now you're putting music together without really knowing the background right. you may have the gift you may have the talent but you don't know what it is that you're talking about yet mm-hmm. Right. You have to be able to go back and understand the gospels, understand, you know, get into some sound theology mm-hmm. in a church where you're hearing the fullness of the gospel mm-hmm. before you could put some lyrics together, mm-hmm. you know, to make it make sense for people. Right. Because if that's the case, 
So how long would you... Because we don't know everyone's spiritual background. Mm -hmm. And some people do actually grow up in Christian homes where they were going to churches where they know the gospel. It's just that it wasn't as popular. You know, most people chase more of the money aspect and the fame, which is what how they end up using their talent to serve the world. Yeah. But what if they, we don't know their Christian background, so what if they actually come from a, a, a Christian background and they know it's just that they just didn't use it to glorify God. And, as, and so, now turn to, to Christ and now want to use their talent to serve God and also people, how, how, how will we know what their Christian background is? There's no way to really know. However, mm-hmm. we have examples of it. Correct. For instance, I don't know if all of, if you guys know Mace. Yes, he's now the pastor of. What well, isn't he the new pastor of the the Lindsay's old church? Yeah, they put him as the pastor. But either way, mm-hmm. May started off as a rapper, mm-hmm. and when he started off as a rapper with uh, P Diddy, at the mm-hmm. time he yes. may have been mm-hmm. called Puff Daddy yeah. Combs, whatever. <laughs> yeah, you know. But uh-huh. you know, when he started off with that, he left that lifestyle. Mm-hmm. When he left that lifestyle and came to the church and said, "Listen, I want to serve God," mm-hmm. immediately they made him. A pastor. pastor. A pastor. Mm-hmm. And what ended up happening? I don't know. He went back to the world. Oh, he did. So he's no longer the pastor. Of- he went back to the world. Oh. Like it didn't take very mm-hmm. long. There, there was mm-hmm. one. One who was too quick. He used to, you know, he used to. Well, I don't remember waving there, but he, he's the one who come up. MC with Hammer. Pe- yeah, MC. Uh, <laughs> the pants. <laughs> the pants. <laughs> the hammer pants. The hammer pants. Yeah. 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 But he, 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 yeah. He, yeah. He's a Christian. Uh, he converted to Christianity. Correct. So, so, I like to. Yeah. We have Al Green. Yeah. Who, you know, you, Green, that, 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 yeah. That's right before y'all time. Mm-hmm. But you know, Al Green, who used to yeah. sing "Beautiful Love," Love mm-hmm. Song. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. um, he converted and he became a pastor as well. So it's not a problem. The timeline you can't really put a specific timeline mm-hmm. on it but you have to be able to watch a person's lifestyle love to line. say hold on i need to see whether you really love god mm-hmm. or if this is a gimmick okay you know is this a, a you know an opportunity for you to mm-hmm. you know come up and you know make some money and scam people Correct. or is this really a love that you have for god mm-hmm. <laughs> you know so a lot of these people you have to watch and wait yeah just like I see um, Beyonce put the, the scapegoat ring, mm. you know, but uh, scapegoat, uh, the, uh, it's it's a devil, you know, because uh, it's, a, it's defile, mm-hmm. uh, uh, we, we defile God. Correct. Baphomet. Yeah, yeah. This is Baphomet, you know, the scapegoat. Because what happened, a lot of people refer to the scapegoat uh, uh, to Jesus. Correct. No, He's not the scapegoat. He's not. Mm-hmm. The scapegoat mm-hmm. is to because uh, the scapegoat, uh, uh, they put it in the dinner. That's correct. You know, it was yeah. taken far, the, away the far, the far away from the camp. Far away, you know. And then, they, you know, they, 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 they go, they, they kill is the one that represents Jesus, yeah. the lamb. But the scapegoat, they pray over it and there's one angel. I mean, one man, one person, mm-hmm. correct, one person. correct, and that was take in good under. shape. Yeah, that was a one great person. shape. The Bible said, one. you know, to be able to run out to and take them out very it. far from very the camp, far from. And this is that's that this means this same one person, you know, will take him out for to the desert, to, yeah. to be killed, and then one angel will yeah, put we'll the devil. The devil. Yeah, and, yeah, it's a great yeah. connection. That's what the so Bible the, says. Yeah, that's what the Bible said. And as well as um, mm-hmm. to piggyback on what you said, Pastor. See, the thing is, we as believers, we're not we're not putting these people in a scale of pastors, because guess what? These rappers, these praise team leaders, they ought to know the gospel to be able to preach the gospel. Yeah. They have the same potential as a pastor to relay the message of Christ mm-hmm. on a Say stage. Yeah, they have the same potential as a pastor to yeah. relay the message of the gospel to everyone, but mostly. The culture that we're living in, people remember the praise and worship more than they, than they, they hear the, the the main message yeah, of the, yeah. on that Sunday. Mm-hmm. So I'm saying my main point is that these people who come from the world, they ought to learn the gospel. They have to sit down for a while or they may have to go to semin- seminary school for a while and learn and understand what it means to, to be a believer or what it means to be a pastor, to be able to mm-hmm. portray or give out that the word. Mm-hmm. So they can feed the people properly because you have these um, people that come in. Did you guys know Jim Carrey was also a believer? Oh, he yeah. came in for a while and he left. Because mm. like 
people the thing we have to understand people come to the uh come to church they, they all have different agendas they don't really come some people don't come for jesus some people come for entertainment some people come just because they don't have anything else to do on a sunday morning but be, but because you know the um, praise team leader or those who are singing the song, they have the power to give out the gospel. And all the songs, all the rap songs that we're hearing, all the um, Christian rap, they all have the power. And that's what we will all be judged by what we say. But I don't blame the praise team leader. Do you know who I blame? The pastors. The pastors. <laughs> Where at fault? Do you know why? Because they're they're putting songs together. Based on theology, they hear out of our mouths. Mm-hmm. So if if the pastor is not giving the correct mm-hmm. theology, mm-hmm. for instance, if the pastor is preaching about prosperity all the time, mm-hmm. so the songs will be about you know prosperity. 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 Mm-hmm. You know, I need you to do this, mm-hmm. God. I you know I need a bigger car. He or he has blessed me with a big yeah. car. He is blessed mm-hmm. me with a big house. You know, that's what the songs are going to be about. Yeah. If 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 the pastor's talking about you know. Um, just relationship all the time. Mm. Then you hear message. You know the yeah, songs are all about you know my relationship with God. I'm connected to God. I love God. You know how much God, mm. I, I love Him. God, you're my heart. You're my all. You know you're my everything. Mm. You know, but yet there you you don't hear any holiness. You know, but yet if the, it's based on the sermons that they're hearing and the pastors are not, not doing the job. Yeah. And it's like um, it's like when when I heard that you know um. Kanye became a Christian. It's like the first thing that I wanted to know is who is who is he sitting under? It's like the first things like major churches do if a celebrity comes to faith, they give him the pedestal. Yeah. They give him the opportunity to come before the people. Even even though they may grow up in the church, they haven't been in the church for a long time. They have to sharpen their skills like they used to know. Yeah. And that's why we have to always go back to the basics. Whether you know, whether you're well known or you're not well known. It's it's more of it's more of um, because they're famous or they're celebrities. It gives the church more of a you know basic to get more money, more publicity, and that's what's like. It's wrong, but yet we as pastors have to do a good job. I look at it as a church being a hospital. That's what we call it, right? Mm-hmm. Everybody's sick, you know. Mm-hmm. Now, what surgeon would you let operate on you? that has retired for a while (laughs) or that was not in the hospital. That was not in the Mm -hmm. operating room. They spent two years gone. Now they're like, Oh yeah, I I was taking a break for two years, but I'm back you know, ready to go. And yeah, would you let, would you, would you let that doctor put you under to be able to, uh, to do any type of surgery on you? Listen, even if it was the, the least part of your body, you know, your arm or your hand, like go like, Oh, Hey, no, this man might mess me up. But this person might mess me up. This woman might mess me up. Mm -hmm. But yet we allow that in the church. Somebody that may have grown up in church, but yet they've been gone. Mm-hmm. But yet, as soon as they come yeah. back because of the celebrity status, mm-hmm. we're like, "Come on, get up here!" It's like, what? What other careers do we do that? At? <laughs> yeah, and just plus, like in my job, sorry, in my job, we have refresher training every day, yeah. every year. Yeah. You know, because you may know something. And then you don't do it anymore. You forget. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. You know? So the same way for Christianity, you know, if you just, um, oh, you retire, you haven't been in a, in a service for so long. Yeah. You back so you, you know. So. <laughs> and I, I also think like, you know, it's like, see the thing, see, the thing about, you know, celebrities, you know, converting to Christianity, it's like most of them don't know our struggles. Most of them come from, you know, they have the money. They've been living a life for a long time. It's like, what can you preach to me that I don't already know already? Or I have so little and you tell me, I, uh, you telling me all that you have. So it's more of, we, we ain't equal. I mean, they, everybody has their own sets of struggle. Um, having money doesn't eliminate the struggles that you have. We see that with all the um, famous people who are dying, even with money. So mm-hmm. they do have struggle. It may not just be your struggle, mm-hmm. but they do have a struggle. So what if they come from the angle of, I have all this money, but I still didn't, if I, had, I wasn't happy. Popping, I yeah. still didn't have joy. I still didn't have peace. Actually, all this stuff started happening when I got more money. Because it's not like, oh, everybody's, you know, people do turn on people when they do have money. Mm-hmm. Pe- people die now 
now because Mm -hmm. they see them now have a status Mm -hmm. and jealousy hits in. So they do have a struggle. It's just not your struggle. They do come from struggle as well. Um, But I, I just feel like so... When these um, celebrities say they they give their life over to Christ, um, I, I kind of feel like some of them are doing what they've always known, music. And so I guess for, in their mind, okay, if I do music for God, then you know, like, you know, I'm getting my foot in the door. So where is the people who are willing to take them in and say, you know what, hey, like, I'm willing to disciple you in Christ, like instead of us being like, oh, you guys are celebrities, we don't, you know, we, we, we kind of treat celebrities like they're not people. We separate them from 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 human beings because they have money and status, but they're still people. So, and if Christ was in here today, he would accept them. Like, would he would he not have? Yeah, I think he would. You're right. I think so he would, where? But he would make them a disciple. Of course, that's what I'm saying. Follow like, me. Yeah, sit, sit, down. sit down. Yeah, follow me. Right. But we're not doing that. We're not. But so instead of us, like, you know, so what what do we do? Um, instead of like us saying, you know, your celebrities, let's, let's you know keep Listen. our distance from you. So how do we? No, like, no, don't keep our, my distance. Listen, but, come in. My arms wide open. Right. Let me bring you in right. for me to be able to yeah. teach you. Sit down here. Let's talk. We will spend a few months, a, a couple of years, whatever Learning. it is, to be able mm-hmm. to learn and for you to grow spiritually Correct. to understand mm-hmm. what the gospel is. Yeah. Once we have a good grasp, listen, let's send you out. Right. For you to be able to share the gospel, get, you know, whatever correct. music you want to mm-hmm. put out for it to be a blessing unto God, right. you know, for people to be able to use it as Ephesians 519 says, for us to speak to each other mm-hmm. in psalms and spiritual mm-hmm. songs and, and hymns, and, you know, stuff like this. So, so that way it's not a nuisance to the church, right. nor is it an, an abomination to God. Yeah. And that's yeah. what a lot of the music that's coming that's out to date yeah. are abomination unto God, which is what you were talking about yeah. earlier yeah. with mixing world beats mm-hmm. or world uh, music mm-hmm. and then putting God on top of it, mm-hmm. layering God on top of it to say, this is God now. <laughs> they, I, actually, I don't know if you guys know this, but they have a whole <laughs> section. Um, you can look it up on, on, on YouTube. This is back in the 90s. They used to do this. I'm sure they still do it today. Where they have a whole section of secular songs that they've converted to Christianity. That they've just put God on top of it and just, you know, switch it off. It used to be the funniest thing when I heard these songs. <laughs> I remember back then there was a, a, a rap song called I Got Five on it. Oh, oh I like that song. <laughs> they have a Christian one. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So could you imagine listening to I Got Five it on them it? With a, who bum, did it? Bum. Is it them or somebody else? No, 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 this is a guy. That's what he does. Oh, he just he puts a remix. guy. He just Correct. remixes, Correct. Oh, puts a cover. Correct. He puts okay. a cover on it and okay. he, 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 he he makes it Christian. Okay. I'm like, but no, that's. I, I can't. I you can't you listen can't. To that. But okay. So what if somebody? But can you? Because I can't. I'm gonna associate with. I'm gonna start singing. Exactly. I got five. But what if somebody doesn't come from? Like, there's a lot of people who don't listen to rap at all. So for them, what if they don't know? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, there's some people who don't listen to rap. So mm-hmm. like, there's. I have a friend who does not listen to rap music. So if I say or make a rap reference, she won't get it. Mm-hmm. So for her, she'll be like, Oh my god, they talk about God. And she, I, she, I can't tell her. Like, you know, is, like, just like she would like it either. Because <laughs> she doesn't like rap. Yes. But what if she like? Christian rap, yeah. But, but, but there's some people who like. Right? But you know, I I personally do not. I listen to Christian very little. Like I prefer. Not, I like. I just don't. It doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't move me. But I have a friend who loves Christian rap. She might listen to worldly rap, but she loves Christian rap. Yeah. But for her, if she has that beat and she listens to Christian Christian rap, she I don't. She wouldn't. She wouldn't know. <laughs> like, I mean, I think. Like, how would you know if you don't know? Well, for me, I I do listen to you know a few people, a few Christian rappers. Mm-hmm. Like, um, what for me, my preference is I look for theology. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In what I listen to, mm-hmm. it's like if I'm getting fluff, I'm not growing. Yeah. I want something that's something that be able to challenge my thinking, because you have like shy lens. Like yeah. he says stuff that Very makes deep. you think. Yeah. It, 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 he a always theologian. <laughs> yes, and, you know he. Um, a while ago, he had quit rapping so he can become a pastor. Mm-hmm. And you know he become a father. He's like, man, he can't be doing this. So he stepped down from being a Christian rapper to become a pastor because he saw that God called him for greater things. Mm-hmm. And as well as before he, beca- he before he even became a Christian rapper, he was under someone mm-hmm. that that show him the yeah. proper way how to you know dissect the Word of God mm-hmm. so he can properly give it to the people. Mm-hmm. Because, like, you know, nowadays you have certain Christian rap songs out there. They're not giving you anything. Yeah. It makes me, it makes me, um, it makes me think sometimes, like, what is, uh, what, what, are, what is your motive? You sound so much 
like the world, you have blurred the line that, you know, what can you offer me? Because, like, because, see, the thing is, what people don't realize that we as a people, we have so much power. If we mm-hmm. choose not to listen to 50 songs, mm-hmm. these, some someone's mm-hmm. going to go bankrupt. Yeah, exactly, mm-hmm. yes. Someone's not, is not going to make money. But because of that, it's like, we as, we as Christians, we're supporting or endorsing a lot of people who are just giving fluff. See, for example, you have um, Bethel songs, Bethel Reading, the the church itself, mm-hmm. where you know you have Jesus culture come from Bethel and Bethel on music. It's like if you notice the one theme from their songs is healing, but apart from healing, there's nothing else. So they only pick one thing, one scripture. I was li- I was listening to something, uh, to something this morning. They so focus on Jesus. They forget all about the other scriptures. They f- they forget about the Old Testament. Oh, they're like, oh, God. It's like God in the Old Testament. He's different from God in the New Testament. Oh, and as well as they, they um basically saying that oh, what God has done in the past is not relevant. Oh, so let's focus on what Jesus has done. So they solely focus on the miracles. Of so it's Jesus. two different gods then. It's so, two, it, that it's like you know, it's more of you know, they're um they're they're basically on a sense like they. They're ignorant in a sense of dissecting the word properly. But don't they realize that the same Jesus is God in the Old Testament? Testament too. <laughs> <laughs> now, about this church, this is the same church that does grave soaking, where they go in the cemetery and they lay down on um, people that have passed uh, great theologians or great worshipers that have passed Mm -hmm. where they're dead for them to be able to get their spirits or to get their anointing Ah. to come upon them and a lot of churches are listening and singing their songs thinking this is from god i'm like you just got this from a dead person (laughs) you know or you know whatever spirit that you just got it from but it's not the holy spirit but for me i don't mind rap the last Mm -hmm. album that i listened to that I purchased Mm -hmm. was Lecrae's album, Mm -hmm. uh, Rebel. Mm -hmm. That was one of the best albums he ever did. After that, I went and purchased everything before. But then when I bought the album after, I said, oh, heck no. I don't remember. That's how bad it is. I don't even remember the album name. (laughs) I was like, no, I'm done with him. Because he didn't talk about anything else. And you could tell his gospel shifted. The gospel shifted for him. You know, and I was like, nah, I can't listen to him anymore. And there's a lot of people like that. You know, I love Shylin. You know, and he'll, he'll, he stood firm on the word of God and the theology of the scriptures. You know, there's others that are, you know, that do the same thing. Mm-hmm. But there's some that's so, not. Don't they realize God forbid uh, uh, to communicate with the dead? Oh, man. They, yeah. They, they don't care. <laughs> I mean, it's like um, <laughs> talk about money. Yeah. I mean, well, you know, well, it's like they're, they're trying to sell records. Yeah. That is true, and it's like um, God, uh, see, it, um, we may not, we may not have you know um, an example, but Paul did give us something to think about. Mm-hmm. He says, to "Think about these things." He says, "It's Philippians chapter four, yeah, verse whatever eight. is on- mm-hmm. He yeah. says, "Whatever is true, whatever yeah. is mm-hmm. honorable, whatever mm-hmm. is just, whatever is pure, whatever mm-hmm. is lovely, whatever, whatever is commendable. If there is any excellent, if there is any mm-hmm. anything worthy of praise, think about these things." Yeah. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. if if we as Christians, does all the songs that we're listening to, does it match that? Mm-hmm. Can we think about this? Because we have to understand, it's like the gospel, the Bible is helping us to think more like God, yeah. godly thinking. Mm-hmm. And that's how we feed our spirit because some of the songs we're feeding, like I said earlier, we're feeding our flesh so mm-hmm. much. Mm-hmm. No wonder that we're falling to some, certain temptation. Yeah. No, no wonder that we're yeah. falling to certain <clears throat> sin because these songs that we're listening to is hindering us from doing the things that God has called us. It's for example, if you're you're single, you're, lis- you're, you're listening to mm-hmm. R&B. I love R&B. How, who, where's your outlet? Mm. <laughs> Where are you putting all that energy into? If you, <laughs> who, who's laying next to you and you listen to, I'm you know, dead. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I romanticize the scripture. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. at the end of the day, it's like all the songs that we're listening to, God, it's like, you know, within that verse, Philippians 4, it's like, mm-hmm. it is a standard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if if we we think that we don't have a standard, there is a standard that we have to think about certain things a uh, different certain ways. Cause like um, if you want to be more godly, what do you put before yourself? What do you listen to? What do you watch? 
Because mm-hmm. everything affects your mind. Exactly. It's kind of like sometimes when I be on when I'm watching like you know zombie apocalypse. Mm-hmm. It's like the, the way my mind reacts to that is like I go to survival mode. It's like mm-hmm. I, I'm thinking a way how to escape if this thing uh, if this thing happened in real life. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So it, it see the thing is it's affecting my mind yeah. even yeah. though I didn't even though I didn't allow it to yeah. but because I'm watching it yeah. allow I give that permission. Yeah, it allow, it gives permission. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. so overall it's like we as Christians we have the power to to put anything before us and we have the power to take anything away. So it's so um cuz you have a lot of people say oh I love I love the the music I love art cuz the beat. I love the, the yeah, mm-hmm. I love the beat mm-hmm. music is art and everything I love listening to music but is this music are they producing something godly in you is it honorable is it is it true is it just mm-hmm. you know so if there was a glory in, if there was an influx of people who say you know what if there was a rise in Christian rappers that were authentic for the, on standing on the word of God would they be received by the church today they yeah. were yeah they were back in the nineties. They were, mm-hmm. you know. Um, look at Ambassador. Mm-hmm. You know, like I said, Shy Lynn, uh, Timothy Brittle. Um, there's others, Lecrae, mm-hmm. um, Bizzle, Tagashi, yeah, Bizzle. You know, all these guys. Mm-hmm. They were accepted by the because it was mm-hmm. the church house bringing them in to mm-hmm. do concerts, to do youth ministry, mm-hmm. and all that because the youth were loving it. So they were accepting it. The church went so far into accepting, you know, the the gospel rap. We created uh, Christian clubs to be able to bring in people. People to be able to have concerts, you know, late at night for the kids rather than them going, you know, getting into trouble or going to clubs for them to be able to have a, you know, different outlet. The church accepted them. What happened is they weren't looking. Well, no, no, they were they were fine with it, but the money that the church has wasn't enough for them. So because that wasn't enough, I have to be able to, you know, uh, get more crowd, get more people. Mm -hmm. And how do I do that? I have to be secular. I have to tone down Jesus and just make it about God. Mm-hmm. I have to kind of insinuate who it is that I'm talking about rather than being specific about, listen, I serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. He is my God. He is my Lord and Savior. You know, and, and, and that's what happens with people when they want crowds they want you know they want to be able to have the the notoriety, they want to have the fame and the fortune, they will sell themselves. And that's crazy. It's like, um, it's the same thing, like, you know, the season that we're in. It's like, you know, we're in uh, the Christmas season. It's like nowadays, businesses don't even say Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. It's happy holidays. No, they haven't said that Because they're years. offended. Because, you know, nah, Christ I mean, is not it's, Christmas. It's been about 20, 30 years since yeah. they and, and stopped yeah. saying that. It's like, even though they say ho- uh, happy holidays, don't they know it's the holy days? Yeah, but they're not believers. You know, they're out to make money. They're the, the, the Bible said the love of money is the root yeah, of all evil. evil. So, yeah. you know, if God isn't their God, it's all about money. So let them make their money. That is true. You know, we, I mean, if you know the truth, you know the truth. Yeah. But what I've realized is I've kind of thought about this to say, how do we categorize music in the church to say, okay, this is right. And I, I will accept this and mm-hmm. this one I can accept. Mm-hmm. So we would have to have some type of category to kind of say, okay, does it reference Jesus? Because mm-hmm. it can't some just criteria. be a general. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, there has yeah, to be some yeah. type of criteria, yeah. Yeah. you know, to say this belongs to God. Mm-hmm. You know, does it, uh, you know, reference Jesus? Um, does it give scriptures? Yes. You know, does it stick with the scriptures? Does it stick with the theology of the Bible? Mm-hmm. You know, the you know the Christology, the the center of everything. Um, you know, does it honor God? Yeah, exactly. You know, and if you could stick mm-hmm. to those three, mm-hmm. I think you'll find the, the, that music to to be reflective mm-hmm. of something that is pleasing to mm-hmm. God. Mm-hmm. If it doesn't have that, then it could be anything. It could That's be true. Anything, yeah, it could be anything. It could be anything. Because if it doesn't mm-hmm. honor Christ as God, mm-hmm. if it doesn't follow the scriptures, follow the scripture. and it doesn't have the theology of the mm-hmm. scriptures, then yeah. see, it's like you know, it's like right now, Christian music. It's it's more of men. It's 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 more men centered. It's it's you know it's, it's directed and produced by you know sinners, but right now, is they tell you who their God is. They tell you it's about money. You have to get the bread. 
there's nothing wrong by getting mm. the bread. You have to be able to provide for your family. Mm. But if beca- if it becomes solely what you're chasing after, it becomes an issue. Mm-hmm. Now you put it above God. Mm-hmm. God's no longer the center. He's something. He's looking into into the center. He's outside. It's more like he become a stranger to you. Yeah, and then the thing is, money. There is a God behind money. Yeah, is mammon. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. God mm-hmm. say he cannot serve mammon and yeah, and God. God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you notice in scripture, God, it's like. One thing people don't people don't realize that God's not compared to anything else. He's not compared to the devil because mm-hmm. the devil ha- doesn't have that kind of power yeah. that God has. It's money. God's compared to money because money can steal the heart of men. Yeah, it can it can it make you do some crazy, crazy things, some stupid things. Mm-hmm. You can murder mm-hmm. for money. Violence, yeah. You can do so much that you can you can slap your mom in the face with some money. Mm-hmm. Like they say, if you want to bet a thousand dollars, yeah. Slap your so you know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. just like this just said. If you want to be a faithful Christian, you will be suffer. Yeah, yeah. Because it tell you the same pain he endured while he was on earth. Mm-hmm. You're going to endure the same pain. Yeah. And as well so as so, don't think you're going to share the glory yeah. with him. Mm-hmm. But not share yeah, not his suffering. suffering. Yeah, yeah. Not share his suffering. Yeah. That's that's a, that's a yeah, selfish yeah. view, right that's there. Right. Yeah, that's yeah, right. I understand. So, like people, they always say, oh, "With Jesus, you know, yeah, I'm going to be prosperous." You know, Jesus make me prosper. You know, no, you work. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Facts. Right. Yeah. But you know, I'm going to say a couple of things because I would rather listen to Christian rap than contemporary music. Contemporary, contemporary Christian music. I get more theology from Christian rap than I do contemporary Christian music. However, some of the beats. You bring you back. Bring you, They're going to bring you back. And I'm like, ah, yeah. I can't touch that. Yeah, yeah. You know, so you have to find that balance mm-hmm. to be able to say, okay, this I can listen to, this I won't listen yeah. to. Um, but listen, this was great. We're running out of time. Mm-hmm. Next week, let's touch on the idea of, you know what? If I commit suicide, am I going to go to heaven? Okay.